Tereshevsky and I'm here at the Coins Bank blockchain cruise on board a huge ship in the very middle of the Mediterranean Sea and look who I have here, Dr. Larry Sanger. Hi Dr. Larry. How are you? Very good. Okay, so um, starting with my uh, questions, I don't want to start with Wikipedia by the way. Okay, and, um, good. Uh, let's start with um, with uh, the very beginning. I know that you received a PhD degree at the very, you know, young age. How old were you? Not that young. Uh, let's see, I guess I was 32. Yeah. Oh, 32. Pretty I'm normal sorry. age. Yeah. Yes, and so um, you're a doctor of philosophy. Mm -hmm. What was the topic of your thesis? Um, something called epistemic circularity. It's, it's in epistemology, the, the theory of knowledge. Um, basically, the problem is um, since we have to use the ways that we have of knowing things in order to confirm that those ways are reliable, isn't that a kind of circularity? Can you use sense perception to confirm that sense perception is a reliable source of knowledge? That's just an example of, of the kind of circularity. And it actually is a really deep problem, and it underlies most of the, the problems in um, uh, epistemology. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Um, one of my professors actually, um, he, he's, he's a, a, a guy, his name is Robert Kraut, um, professor at Ohio State, and, and he claims that, that uh, part of the reason why I so quickly was able to latch on to the idea of um, uh, the, the back and forth that uh, wiki editing requires is that I had studied the ideas of, of the pragmatists, which I guess is true. I did have a, a class in that. I, I don't know if the, that his explanation is true, but you know, success has many, um, many parents, as the saying goes. <laughs> For one thing, there are definite ideas in in economics, not ones that I studied, that underlie the, the ideas of, of uh, open source development. And this is like open source development, it's based on open source development. So um, definitely, and yeah, I mean, Robert Kraut was not wrong to um, say that uh, by negotiating, um, in good faith anyway, uh, about um, what the truth is, uh, eventually we get closer to, closer and closer to, as he puts it, limbing the true, uh, so. Well, but still, you've uh, distanced yourself from the project um, mm. because of uh, ethical and moral reasons, I would say, calling this anti-elitism, uh, telling this is non-democratic, and uh, how do you, that, was that your phrase when uh, the inmates got a hold of the asylum? Was that right? Yes. Um, continue to be actually the the reason that I permanently left the Wikipedia project is also the reason uh, why I continue, or one of the main reasons why I continue to criticize it. Um, so I noticed as early as two thousand and two the. Wikipedia was becoming a kind of mobocracy um, that, that um, the way that people got ahead and the way that decisions were made um, is by treating each other in bad ways, basically um, doing whatever you need to do to get to the head of essentially a formerly leaderless mob. Um, and there was a power vacuum, essentially, because there's no constitutional um, method of reaching content decisions. It's supposed to be based on consensus. Well, there isn't a consensus possible about all kinds of issues that inform an encyclopedia, so there has to be some sort of decision mechanism. And, okay, um, then in the absence of, of uh, an editor-in-chief or an editorial board, or some sort of democratic um, decision-making method that has been regular, regularized and can be overseen by, I don't know, some constitutional means, what happens? Well, some people, they look at whatever the, the, uh, 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 the local 
um, ideology is, in this case, uh, the ideology of consensus, and they say, we represent the consensus, okay? They become basically the mob. The elite, right. Well, the elites, the mob leaders is the way that I put it, because it's completely unregulated. In other words, they're, they're lawless. Um, of course, they'll, they can cite the, the alphabet soup of, of uh, uh, you know, abbreviated regulations, you know, um, but and they've got lots and lots of regulations, but how they're applied is completely inconsistent, um, and it, it depends entirely on essentially the power relations between the people in the system. So yeah, and, the, and there's, they didn't have a solution to that. Um, so, and they still don't, and basically I called Jimmy Wales on this privately. I said, unless you do something about this to rein in the bad actors, essentially. Um, and I, I also said, this is a slightly different issue, but it's related. Um, do something to make the uh, experts in the project feel more welcome, because they had been driven away, essentially. All these great people that I had recruited for Newpedia, who were a lot of the original participants on Wikipedia, they were just driven away. Um, and he didn't seem to care. He denied to me privately that there was a problem and so forth. And I had made him an ultimatum, so uh, I guess it was January 2003. I said, okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna have anything else to do with it. And I didn't. So I actually became more of a critic than a fan, especially after he started denying that I'm co-founder of Wikipedia. Seriously? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Officially? Oh, yes. So, so for, for a few years from the end of 2004 until about 2006 or seven, Jimmy Wales was constantly going on the record saying, Larry Sanger is basically lying. He's making it up. He's not co-founder of Wikipedia. Um, I'm the sole founder of Wikipedia and so forth. So it's but, a human factor after all. Yep, yeah, I would say so. So with your new project, Wikipedia, mm -hmm. you um, do you apply the decentralized principles of the DLT technology to the this consensus? Is there a consensus? Is it a, a democracy? as you just mentioned, or is it the anarchy as decentralized maximum? It's definitely a, a democracy right now. Um, so the, the way that the Everpedia token works, um, basically um, you stake a small number of IQ tokens, that's our token, if you want to make an edit or submit a new article, right? Um, and so, you know, you stake 50 tokens or something like that. Um, and then the uh, community votes on your edit. Um, and if there are more tokens upvoting than downvoting, then um, your, your edit is approved. Um, so at least there is, I mean, that system in itself, I, I think all of us would admit is gonna need refinement. It's sort of like the first draft um, just to get us started on the blockchain, and we are on the blockchain, it's live, it's going, it's actually running a, a wiki, but, uh, but at least it's democratic, right? Um, in, a, in another phase of development, which should come within the next year, um, you will see a rating mechanisms for articles, uh, but in order to make that fair and to actually motivate people to um, do the hard work of reading in an article, an article all the way through, and coming up with responsible ratings of like global ratings, and then of things like accuracy and style and so forth. Um, uh, you need to persuade them that they're not wasting their time. Um, so it has to be one person, one vote. So um, that's, uh, and then basically we we will um, allow people to. Um, sort, uh, not just um, articles, different competing articles on the same topic, but also allow uh, the Wikipedia, or sorry, the Everpedia community to choose from different competing edits. Um, so like, let's just say, for example, that um, 
there's a, a, a few different edits that are being proposed on a, a given really contentious article of, of Donald Trump, for example, um, then if there is a one, uh, one person, one vote system, um, then it would be much less gameable. Um, it, it's not, not to say that democracy can't be gamed, but it's gamed in a different way. It's not gamed in a, in a really mindlessly um, technological way. It's more social gaming. And um, yeah, I could go into it, into that for a long time, but here's a critical question okay, that you good. mentioned yesterday. Mm -hmm. Which flaws does the system have? Which no. obstacles have you <laughs> faced while creating it? Um. Well, uh, be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, I think we have focused a lot on. Um, pop culture topics in the first four years of our development. Um, and I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It, it has gotten us a, a fair bit of traction and in users, we, we are, have a, a younger uh, writer base than Wikipedia does and that's a good thing. Um, but uh, going forward, we definitely need to expand into more traditionally encyclopedic topics. And in order to do that, um, we're, we're going to have to do another thing that we haven't done yet, um, which is to constantly, like up to the second, um, import the latest Wikipedia edits. So Wikipedia has an API they publish their latest edits um, available for anyone. So what we need to do is grab those as they as they come online and, and update our copies. So it's a constantly forking version. And then um, we need to, this is gonna be difficult and we've thought about it, right? Um, but we need to have like a, a paragraph level of granularity for determining whether um, a uh, an article or part of an article should be updated or not. So, um, like if, if we have done a whole bunch of editing to the first two paragraphs, then the Wikipedia edits will not be copied over um, those, those edits. But if all the rest of the article has been changed, then we're going to go ahead and continue to allow that to evolve the way that Wikipedia does. Um, so we haven't done that. A lot of the problems, you know, uh, of, the, of the criticisms that somebody might have of Everpedia are basically criticisms of things that we haven't done yet, which is like the, basically the, the sort of criticisms that, that uh, other people had of, of uh, Wikipedia in the, in the first year or so. And they apply it to Everpedia? Uh, sort of. Yeah. What was the hardest thing so far? Not mentioning the things that you haven't done yet. I mean, in terms of development. Um, yeah, the hardest thing. I think uh, that's a question actually for our developers to tell the truth. Um, I'm I'm not one of them. I I basically just you know give a lot of advice and and okay, strategy an documents. I would say the hardest, probably the hardest problem for our uh, team has been making the transition to the blockchain. Um, even though we've got some real experts on board to help with that, um, you know, creating a, a brand new um, set of smart contracts that works with a, a wiki that we've made ourselves, um, it's not easy at all. Yeah, and, and executing the airdrop right after the uh, EOS uh, mainnet went online. Um, that was that was a little hairy, I guess, but it it, it came out just fine, of course. Um, yeah, and then uh, then the other the next development process um, we went through was to uh, develop the, the the front end, um, and so we had to com completely rewrite the uh, the code for um, 
for the whole site, really, um, we went back to the drawing board and even chose new languages and things. Um, so it used to be just like uh, basic JavaScript and, and, and a jQuery and CSS for the front end, and now we're using React um, in you know full feature uh, way, and that's um, I, I think we've got some really good developers, uh, front end developers working on that now, um, but uh, uh, we're a little late in launching. Not too late, but we, we are a little bit. Uh, we, we haven't set a launch date uh, as such, um, but but uh, the next few weeks, hopefully. Oh, there soon. You go. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Possibly by the time this video comes out, I don't know. Yes, very good. Yeah. <laughs>